Hey brewers and beer lovers, it's Jake with superbrewers.com. Just going to do a quick video on bottling off of the keg. The way this is going to be set up, it's not really for long term bottling, it's just something quick and dirty, uh, let you get some bottles filled for friends or family, uh, and then let you empty some kegs so you can get them filled back up. Even though I said that we won't, we're going to do this quick and dirty, we don't actually want anything dirty. So I have cleaned bottles here ready to go in groups of six. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much beer is left in the keg I'm going to be using. but So I'm going to sanitize these six at a time. And then um, I have bottle caps that will go in sanitizer once I get the bottles sanitized. Um, this is just a regular racking cane, and you'll see what that's for in a half gallon jar of sanitizer. And that the reason for the half gallon is so that it's heavy enough um, that it won't tip over with the picnic tap attached here which can happen in the quart jars because they're shorter and lighter. Um, and then the other thing that you'll need to do is make sure your CO2 tank is set to like really low PSI. This is um, hopefully around five because you barely want the beer moving so that it will stay as unagitated as possible. So that's really important and then of course you need some six packs to hold the bottles at the end so let's get started just want to give it the best shot at last time long enough to be tasty <laughs> And then, all right, to insert the bottling wand, you just put it right into the spout on your picnic tap, and you just seat it and then back in the sanitizer. This is to catch the foam that will happen as the bottles are filled. Thank you. 